Okay, today we're going to demonstrate the use of the new Dana Auto Setter to refill and reload a Dana Android insulin pump. Now, before we get started, we have to make sure we've got everything ready. So we have some room temperature insulin that's ready to go. We have a Dana key. We have the Dana Auto Setter. We have the pump that's running with a current basal rate. We have an infusion set and we have a new reservoir ready to go into the device. So to begin the process, we're going to open the Dana pump up using the Dana battery key. We turn the reservoir cap in a clockwise motion to open it up. We can remove the tubing. Cap we reuse, take the old reservoir of insulin out, remove the push rod off the back which we will reuse, and then start the process we we make sure or ensure that we have clean, dry, sterilised hands, clean work surface and bench and all the components ready to get going. So to begin the process we open the Dana Reservoir, remove the little white cap off the back corner and retain and save the little white cap that we will utilise shortly. Take the Dana push rod and ensure that it's pressed firmly onto the back of the reservoir the little teeth are engaged and then with all insulin pumps you should always ensure that the double o-ring is moving freely within the reservoir to make sure that it doesn't jam or block inside the pump causing occlusions so we just push it up to the top and once it's at the top that's enough let's make sure that it's all working we remove the needle cap insert it into the end of the three mil vial of room temperature insulin then using the needle cap protector we can push the insulin slowly into the reservoir. Now this process here ensures that we minimise the amount of air that we get into the into the cartridge for the pump. It also means that we can make sure that we can easily remove the air once it is there. So once you go about two thirds of the way down you can suck or pull the plunger to drag the last little bit out. Note that I'm holding on to the outside barrel of the reservoir so that I don't pull the screw off the bottom. Pull it all the way down once we get to the bottom, we can remove the needle from the insulin vial. We can place the cap back onto the end just to make sure that we don't accidentally stick ourselves. And then using a little swirl motion, we can swivel the air around, making sure that it's all sitting at the top. We don't ever flick. Flicking will cause micro bubbles to form inside the reservoir, and micro bubbles can cause problems over the next three days with the insulin pump. So we just make sure that we're tapping it all out nice and neatly and gently and push any air that's sitting at the top into the needle cap space. I'm quite happy with that and we're pretty much all done there. So from this process here, a little swirl to get it all out. All the air's gone. Right, now take the Dana insulin pump and in here we can wake it up with one button press. I trust or hope that we can see the menu there. We can scroll through to the menu process to the right till you see the little refill. Select OK and the pump displays 250 units. We now leave the pump sitting down there. We take the Dana Auto Setter which has already been paired with the insulin pump and press the display button once. We then load the full reservoir into the top of the device and press the button a second time. The Dana Reservoir will wind all the way to the top once it reaches the top, it stops and reverses and goes back down again, counting the volume of insulin. Now this process with the Dana insulin pump is a little bit more manual than what many people would be used to with their other insulin pump brands. However, the Dana R or the Dana Android insulin pump is the smallest and lightest 300 unit pump anywhere in the world. And really having a tiny, small, discrete pump is the key and the answer to it all. And from my own personal perspective, after wearing a pump for maybe close to 20 years, having a small light pump is the key, and it is very, very important to myself. And having a slightly more manual load process once every three or four days is a relatively small price to pay for how small the pump really is. Okay, once the auto setter is finished, it's showing the display on the front. We can lift the reservoir out of it, remove the needle cap, Put the little Pro White Protective cap on just to keep everything sterile while we're still moving things around. You can then load it straight into the side of the insulin pump. A little jiggle just to make it drop down into place and engage on the gears. 
turn the screw in an anti-clockwise direction so that it's tight. A little tighten on the screw. And now look at the front display of the pump and it's displaying the volume of insulin. It says 275 units and it's saying yes or no. And we move it across to yes and confirm with a yes. Now saying refill 275, OK. Prime number one, OK. Start. We can now remove the little white protective cap. Take the insulin tubing out of the sterile packet and connect it onto the top of the pump. We're now just watching the insulin feed through the tubing. We've already just started along there. There's a couple of little bubbles. And when it reaches the end, we can either pause it with the minus button or we can suspend or stop it altogether by the OK button. We'll just wait until it's pressed all the way through. Also find that often using a white piece of paper or a white tablecloth makes the insulin very, very easy to see inside this blue tubing. Probably not quite so easy to see on this video, but standing from um, more than a meter away, I can see the air moving through there quite nicely because of the blue tubing. It makes it very, very easy to spot air bubbles. So once those last couple of bubbles have finished at the end of the reservoir, uh, sorry, the tubing, we can suspend. Okay, check the job. Yes, that's great. Okay. Prime start, no, done. Now back on the main display of the insulin pump, it's now showing 269 units of insulin after the prime, um, completed today, ready to go. So the pump is now pre delivering a basal rate of 0.83 units, of an, unit, uh, sorry, 0.83 units per hour, um, and it's all going. Thank you.